I recently installed the receiver hitch on the on the JL Wrangler but sadly the wiring harness is not plug-and-play like on the Almada it was basically plug-and-play there was a big uh, pigtail up there you just plug the wiring into it on the Suburban same thing plug-and-play but on this <laughs> oh man on this you gotta do some uh, some wiring this is the isolation block I think the relays and stuff are built in here basically to protect the vehicles wiring from any uh, mishaps with the trailer wiring so these are where it ties in one is left one is well one is driver's side one is passenger side or left right and you got to run the ground wire all the way up to the vehicle's battery and I see this this is for a fuse it, it comes with the fuse I just got to figure out excuse me And the instructions is not the best but we're gonna make it work before running wiring under the vehicle along the frame I'm gonna pop the hood I'm gonna hook this up to the pigtails on the, the tail lights I'm gonna run the wiring on the outside of the vehicle just to do a quick test make sure everything works before I run the final wiring all right, this is where we at so far. I got the little module. Let me turn the light on here. Yeah, I got the little module mounted right there with two-sided tape. You could put a screw in it also, but uh, the only flat spot I found was back here. And I, if you put a screw in it, the screw gonna stick out the uh, the outside of the body panel. So the two-sided tape is 3M. Is pretty strong. Turn the light back off. And uh, this is the factory plug here for the uh, left or driver's side tail light. And this is the pigtail that basically the, it goes in line for the trailer wiring. So this is the driver's side or the left side, US spec vehicle, and this is the passenger side. See the passenger side just has the one green wire coming up with the same pigtail style on it. So what I'm going to do is, before I finalize everything, what you got to do is, you got to find a spot to ground this white wire, this white wire is a is ground that's the term terminal on there you can find a bolt somewhere in there that's already there if you can't you can drill a hole see you got ample places to drill holes it even mm -hmm. comes with a little screw so you got to make sure you're on bare metal and just put some grease on it to help prevent rust and then this black wire this black wire has to run all the way up to the negative battery terminal which is kind of weird because the body of the vehicle is grounded so it, it even comes with the uh, the extra wire right there to do that but I just stopped real fast to grab a quick video that's where we're at the little module thing is mounted that basically isolates like I said earlier excuse me the vehicle from the trailer if there's any shorts in the trailer it won't affect the the vehicle will not see barely anywhere so what I'm about to do is stop this video and get back at it oh to remove the tail lights it's these spring-loaded plastic bolt things you got these covers right there 
you just pop the covers off and these are in there like that you just undo it with a torx or that looks like a 10 millimeter head on it it's plastic so be careful don't go crazy uh, using my drill and a 3 30 seconds bit I'm gonna put this tail light back in here I don't want to step on that I drill a hole right there and clean the paint from around the, look at my ashy finger because you want bare metal and what I like to use is if I can find it there it is I like to use the electric grease I put it in all but you can't see it but all the way the connectors go I fill them with that grease let me show you on this one see in there it's filled with the grease this helps waterproof helps with corrosion so forth uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smear some of this on there it even the the kit the trailer harness kit wiring kit comes with the the screw <laughs> but I have a whole pack of the exact same size screws but this is gonna go right there and I'm gonna smear it with this to help prevent corrosion all right, now I see, I see why I was putting this thing off for so long. The tail lights are back in. All the wiring is done behind there. The module is stuck on the other side right behind this panel. Uh, the wiring, uh, any wire that's not behind the light, like in the cavities behind the light, is in wire looms. Even the big wire for the, uh, for the four pin is in a wire loom. See up there? Wire loom. And wire loom again. I'm gonna tape that up, and then this long one has to make the run all the way up to the uh, the positive terminal in the battery. They use a black wire. They use the white wire for the negative for the ground, and a black wire for the hot for the positive, which is is bass Aquad, so. It is what it is. So I'm about to run this one all the way up. And excuse me, once I tie into the positive terminal, I'll be finished. And while I was up there, I noticed something. This truck was bought from the dealership like this. See this? See that? I don't know if you can see that. That nut right there. That nut is loose. See? I'm turning it. Look at that. It was bought like that. I'm almost finished. See, I ran the the wire loom. Of course, the kit didn't come with any wire loom, but it runs above the frame, past there, on top of the cross member, above the tank. It follows the frame all the way across. It comes up behind here. I use the stick. <laughs> To fish it through and it comes up over here with the factory harness to keep it away from the from the block all right so now i'm about to tie in to the positive terminal all right i just finished that's where it's tied into the positive That's where the wire is right there. Just pull that out, plug into your trailer and go. When you're not using it, it's in this little thing right here. You cut off the end of the zip tie and we're done. I just plug it up to the trailer to test it for the first time. You can see where it's plugged in right there. Can you see it? All right. Trailer lights are on. Good looking good. All right, let's hit some, uh, let's hit the turn signals. Let's do, all right, left turn signal.
and it's working. Let's do right turn signal. And there it is. All right, I'll say we're good to go. You know what? Let me not do that. Let's check. All right, last thing we're gonna check is the four ways. And flashing and flashing. All right, I'll say we're good to go. show you how it's hooked up right here let's see there's a little door right there so when you disconnect it see if I can do it one hand drop the phone but let's see there's a little door right there so when you're not using it you just push it in here and close the door and that's it Good to go.